Good day everyone. My name is Giselle Aldevera, a BS Entrepreneur student. And for today's video, I'll be discussing about the introduction of financial management and budgeting. So, what is finance? Finance is a study of how people and business evaluate investment and raise capital to fund them. Finance can be defined as the art and science of managing money. Art is like dancing, singing, drawing, something which is based on feeling. But science is more about facts and figures. You have to do experiment, come out with theories to explain what you believe. So finance is basically a mix of arts and science of managing money. The keyword here is managing money. Finance is all about managing money. That's what we call financial management. Financial management is a very important aspect for companies. It's because financial management is about maintenance and creation of economic value or wealth. What is wealth? Let's take an example. Let's say the market value of company A is $100 billion. Investor of capital A altogether invested $30 billion. So taking $100 billion minus $30 billion, you will get $70 billion. This amount of money is what we call wealth created for investors. Shareholders only paid $30 billion to buy shares. But the company created extra $70 billion for the shareholders. Of course, this is going to be a good sign for investors as the value of the company has increased. Importance of Financial Management The role of financial management is that it has direct impact on all the financial aspects activities of a company. Certain aspects affected by financial management decisions are number 1. Size and composition of fixed assets. The amount of money invested in fixed assets is an outcome of investment decisions. So if more amount of capital is decided to be invested in fixed asset, then it will increase the value of the total share of fixed assets by the amount invested. Number 2. Amount of composition of current assets. The quantum of current assets and its constituents like cash, bills receivable, inventory, and many more is also influenced by management decisions. It is also dependent on the amount invested in fixed assets, decisions about credit, and inventory management. Amount of long-term and short-term funds to be used. Financial management determines the quantum of funds to be raised for the short term and long term. In case a firm requires more liquid assets, then it will prefer to have more long term finance even more their profits will decrease due to payment of more interest in comparison to short term debt. Proportion of debt and equity in capital. Financial management also takes decisions regarding the proportion of debt and or equity. Number 5. All items in profit and loss account. All items in the profit and loss accounts are affected by financial management decisions. For example, higher amount of debt will lead to increase in the expense in the form of interest payment in the future. Types of financial management Financial management is mainly concerned with the following decisions. Investment decisions A firm must decide where to invest the fund that it can earn maximum returns. Such decisions are known as investment decisions and can be classified as long-term and short-term investment decisions. Long-term investment decisions it refers to long-term investment decisions such as investment in the new fixed assets, new machinery, or land. 
they are also known as capital budgeting decisions. It affects a long-term earning capacity and profitability and also has long-term implication on the business. Moreover, such investment involves a large amount of money, so it is very difficult to revert such decisions. Example, decisions to purchase a new fixed assets and opening a new branch. Short-term investment decisions. These decisions are also known as working capital decisions and affect day-to-day -day business operation. It is also affect the liquidity and profitability of a business. Example, decision related to cash management and inventory management. Financial decisions. Financial decisions involve decision with regard to the volume of funds to be raised from various sources. This decision also include identification of sources of finance. There are two sources of raising funds, namely shareholder funds, or also known as equity, and the borrowed funds, also known as debt. Dividend decisions. Dividend decision involves decisions regarding how the company would distribute its profits or surplus. Dividend is basically a part of profit which is distributed to shareholders. And now, let's proceed to financial planning. Financial planning involves designing the blueprint of the overall financial operations of a company, such that the right amount of funds are available for various operation at the right time. Main objective of financial planning. First is identifying the sources from where the fund can be raised and ensuring that the required funds are available to the firm as when needed. For this, under the financial planning, an estimation is made regarding the amount of funds which would be required for various business operations. In addition, an estimation is made regarding the time at which the funds would be needed. Second, to ensure that there is proper utilization of funds in the sense that there is neither surplus nor inadequate funding by the firm. In other words, it ensures that the situation of both excess or shortage of funds are avoided. Importance of financial planning Helps in facing eventual situations Forecasting things that may happen, this helps a business to prepare itself to face future situations in a better manner. Improves coordinations, helps in coordinating various business functions, for example, coordinating the function of the sales, productions, and finance departments by providing clear rules, policies, and procedures. Helps in optimum utilization of funds. Ensures reduction of waste, thereby leading to good management of funds. Evaluation of performance. By providing detailed business objectives and depicting all the financial plans for varied business segments, it makes it easier to evaluate segments-wise business performance. Helps in avoiding surprises and shocks. This helps a company to prepare itself for future shocks and surprises. Reduces wastage and duplicity. The detailed plan of actions help in reducing wastage and avoids duplication of efforts. Act as a link. Tries to link the present with the future. This will provide a link between investment and financing decisions. Differences between financial planning and financial management. Financial planning is a process of estimating the amount of funds which would be required by the business and determining the sources through which this would be obtained. 
While in financial management, it refers to the efficient acquisition, allocation, and usage of funds of the company. They are also different in terms of their aim, because financial planning aims at ensuring smooth operation by considering the requirement of funds against their availability. While in financial management, aims at determining the best investment alternative by considering the relative costs and benefits. Financial planning has a narrow scope and financial planning is a part of financial management. While in financial management has a wider scope. They are also different in terms of their objective because financial planning ensures availability of funds as and when required and that unnecessary fundraising is avoided. While the objective of financial management is to manage various activities related to finance. Let's move on to my last topic, which is the introduction of budgeting. A budget is all about looking forward, looking at the future plan for a business as expressed by the revenues and the costs, and therefore, the profits of a business. So a budget is a financial plan, but it needs to be around all aspects of the operation of the business, not just the finances. I mentioned that the budgeting is a process typically it's done each year and it's a way in financial control can be exercised by the management of a business and therefore it is very important part of a management control. What we do is we establish budgets for revenues and the cost of achieving revenues and therefore if we've got revenues and cost what the profits of the business is going to be we can compare actual performance with the budgets to establish whether anything could have happened, favorable variances or bad has happened, adverse variances. Those adverse variances that manages and particularly needed to take account of it and investigate as they arise. Now, budgeting is a widely used process in businesses, and the reason for this is that budgeting has a lot of differences, uses, and stated here in the sides are needs for direction and coordination. Budgeting is a way of actually establishing the priorities of a business, allocating resources, and then monitoring performances. There are three main types of budgets. We've mentioned them already. The revenue, also known as the income budget, which is all about the sales or expected revenues. And often, this will be broken down into much more detail. Perhaps a budget by location, a budget by business unit, or even a budget by production. What you do is you work out your cost budget and should be based on the sales budget particularly applying verbal cost to expected unit sales. Also, this is where we include our fixed costs. The expected fixed costs are budgeted food costs. And lastly, having done revenue and cost budget, we can then work out the profit budget. How a profit budget is constructed? The first step is to analyze market. Through analyzing the market, we can easily identify our market shares and growth, our market shares and market prospect. The next step is to up revenue budget. Through this, we can forecast our sales, make new products and rising changes. Last step is to draw up cost budget. It is based on sales budget, it allows for known changes in suppliers' prices and includes contingencies. Well, budgets, budgeting, we've mentioned this process and with all business processes, while they have their advantages, there are some potential drawbacks and some weaknesses and some limitations. 
Let's just look at the drawback first. Obviously, sales forecasting is at the heart of a budget and where markets change rapidly. For example, through new technology or the actions of competitors. Then it makes sales a lot harder to forecast where demand is uncertain. Again, that makes the sales revenue budget typically difficult to put together. Similarly with costs, as we do when we put our cost budget together. Something is always going to happen that we didn't anticipate, and that could be a good or bad news. For example, good cost might be a new product that you launch that you weren't expecting to launch in the original budget. And similarly, we need to scan the external environment to look out for changes which might affect our cost exchange rate changes is a great example for that. So any budget will assume a certain level of exchanges rate, but of course, in reality, exchange rates will change during the course of the year. Problems and limitation of budgets Are only as good as the data being used, can lead into inflexibility in decision making, need to be changed as circumstances change, take time to complete and manage, and lastly, can result into short-term decisions to keep within the budget. Budgeting is a vital part of business activity and business management. All businesses, large and small, will undertake budgeting and quite right too. However, the top point is a really valid one that your budget is only as good as the data that you use and the time that you invest into the budgeting process. They do take time to complete and simply reporting actual results against budget, whilst it yields some insight into variances, it is also time consuming. That's why use of accounting software that makes budgeting and various analyses real-time are done automatically is particularly useful for all kinds of businesses.